Hello and welcome, and in this video we are going to cover the last four casts, which are the cast non alloc types. So first we want to create um, a script for the raycast non alloc. Non alloc means without allocation, so it's just like raycast all, but it's going to not allocate it every time we call it, meaning we have to pre-allocate one of our arrays or lists. I mean arrays because I think it gives an array out. So we need to store the results ourselves. Um, you cannot like like this one here. It always allocates a new size as well. Here it's going to be pre given a pre size. So look at me. I'm going to give it a twenty ten ten slots as the array size. And this thing is not going to change that. So that's why it's not alloc. Let's just change the name and use it. All right. Now let me add the script as well and set the max distance to 10. I'm gonna make this a serialized field if it's serializable. I guess it's not. Yeah, structs are not serializable, I guess. So we cannot serialize the struct. Alright, so we can already see um, our raycast non alloc in work, yes, and it's already working. But if you look at the result, it's not every time removing the result either. The old results, they're still the same. So that's where non alloc could be used. Now, we can move on to spherecast non alloc. Alright, so. Just similar to the normal raycast, just going to remove some stuff and create a raycast hits again. Then pass it in as a field for this. And now I have passed it in. We can add the script, set the layer, and we should see something. Well, no, we're not because we have um, an exception. Which is because we're debugging and trying to log. So now the error is fixed. And we should see the sphere right at the bottom. And as I move it in different places, the sphere is updated. So that's how it looks, and let's move on to the last, I mean second last, box cast non lock. And just paste the same code of the box cast script, and now I'm going to change stuff to make it work. Get the hits. Do a box cast no lock and pass in the array. You can see the hit point is there right now of the box. If I increase the size or change anything, it will update. Having a bigger box as well. Alright, so the last one is a capsule cast non lock. And we'll put the same code as the capsule cast all, and then we will change stuff again, create a, an allocation, and then just change it to capsule cast non lock. And then I think we can check out the index.transform. So if it's not null, then we want to do it. Let's add the script to it and see what happens as a result.
I think that's not needed actually. So that's our capsule cast in and use like this. We can change the angle and axis so it updates. So um, a 90 degree um now what you need to do is subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.